All right, what is going on, everybody? Brian back with another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. How's everybody doing tonight? So uh, we played some Zomboid earlier, and uh, yeah, if you guys seen my video I put out, something epic happened. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It, it was a good time. I just made it and posted it a couple, uh, like an hour ago, not, almost an hour ago. I usually don't make uh, videos, so. Wayne, what's up, Lewis? Helga. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They, they put a hit out on me. Somebody paid big money. They didn't even do an Agent 47 style. They just did it straight up. <clears throat> but we are back, guys, with this amazing game. Horizon Zero Dawn has been nothing but amazing since we started it. Um, and from what you guys are saying, we're just getting into it. So uh, let's let's get this uh, let's get this going. But so far, my day is going pretty good. Other than the fact that you know somebody hit me out to drive by, it's going as good as it can. John, what's up, man? Go to the merchant near the start who sells the maps. That's mad descriptive right there, Birdie. I know exactly who you're talking about. But uh, we unlocked a couple new weapons uh, last episode. I learned the how to use the war bow um we fought a giant t-rex thing which was pretty damn epic look at this map guys shit is so beautiful oh he's back okay, well, i'm not gonna waste more resources fighting him again Uh, where you do to become the brave trial? Okay. Yo, I did survive, kinda. Kinda. All right, so let me see. I'm I'm trying to get my bearings. I seen Birdie say something about vantage points, and I I see a couple of these vantage points around here. What 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 are those? Let's go check one out. Is there any back here? No. Yep, there's one right here. <laughs> Surprised I haven't done uh, <clears throat> anything strange <laughs> to robots in this game. I didn't do something strange to robots in the end of the other game either, guys. It was all a big misunderstanding. It's just y'all nasties, and you guys automatically assume the worst. Alright, so it's up here. Let's see what these damn vantages are. A lot of little icons around the map that we haven't uh, discovered yet. Oh wow, animal talisman skull. What the hell? It's just like floating in the air? Or is that it up there? 
Oh, I already bought the map. Okay. Fryball with the sub. Thank you so much, man. Got a supply crate. Oh, wow. Actually, that was a really good supply crate. So, access vantage cash. Press E. The Pakashit Storm Tour, day two. My father guest lectured here. A 300 level military history course on the age of human and power. Might as well have been teaching medieval siege tactics. I was eight when he died. Oh shit. It's like showing us what the world used to look like over here. Oh, and there's the building. Oh, that's crazy, guys. You get to see, like, see into the past. Ryan, with the sub, thank you so much, man. Yeah, that was that was pretty damn cool. A lot of machines out there. Holy crap! Okay, so I don't think there's any more back this way at all. I wonder what these metal... F you guys said before that these metal flowers are for, like, endgame stuff, right? This one right there. Let's go get that shit. Now, are the metal flowers actually... Are they just collectibles, guys? Or are they actually useful? That's the U.S. Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, really? That's sick. Bring that up later. Well, my thing is, uh, I'm not an achievement hunter, so I don't, I don't like 100% games, as in like just go like. Assassin's Creed, for instance, I don't go around and collect all the data fragments, you know, unless it, like, unlocks me some sick-ass weapons or armor and shit like that. I generally don't do that type of collectible shit. It's just not my thing. Yeah, I think it's up on this rock. Oh no, there it is. I mean, it's a purple. These are something special. It's 30 of them damn things. Holy crap. Okay, so at least we know what everything is. Uh, what is this? That's the other hunting ground. I could pop up at that hunting ground and see if there's anything there that we can do. Uh, the ancient vessels, uh, I, I don't know. Are those just like loot caches? Are those the ancient loot caches? We'll check one of those out here too in a second. I want to. Uh, Ask me where to go if you're lost. I'm a guard number ten. The the sacred.
There we go. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. More collectibles. How they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is. The one who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Olin's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, he will talk. And he will pay for all the lives he's ruined. Remember when we first came into the desert, guys, it, it was shit is real here. Fast. Can't tell if that's a music or or a machine. It was like some weird kind of like vibrating sound. No, definitely think that's a machine. Well, it must have been one of them, maybe. It's crazy because you see those things over here, right? And they don't look that big. But when you get up close to them, man, are they big. Okay, so we're at the Hunter's Lodge. Let's see what the uh, merchant has to trade. Some pretty low level weapons, it seems. Hmm. So I still got to get that Sawtooth Heart in order to get this Shadow Sharp Shot. And that's one of the weapons I really, really want to get. Oh, the shadow sling shoots uh, freeze bombs. I wonder if those freeze bombs are like really good. Like if they're better than the freeze arrows when it comes to just freezing things. Even shock ones too. Yeah, let me get the shadow sling. Screw it. We'll go we'll go all out. Um because right now the only reason why I'm using this war bow is for the freeze arrows. And at least doing like this will give me a chance to Oh yeah. Hell yeah. So we got elemental stuff there. We got our bow here. We need more wire too. Okay, um, I, I might actually be able to increase the size of my uh, my pouch for the carrying capacity for the what is it? The sling. Here we go. Yeah, blastling ammo pouch. We can get level two on that. What do we need for level three? We just need some more fatty meat. So while we're out and about, we'll try to get some more fatty meats too and get that up to level three. Wait, why didn't that increase? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. what is that? What is that? What is that? That looks different than those other flying things I've seen. How big is that thing that it's that far away from me? Holy shit, that thing is huge! Shh. 
Stormbird. Um, if that's what's in this hunting ground, guys, we can't. We I'm not messing with that shit. That looks terrible, dude. Let me let me let's study that thing really quick. So it's a storm bird, and it's huge. It looked like yeah, it looked like it had a, a force field, right? Let me see. Um, storm bird, storm bird. We just yep, we're here. So that is a, it's a Stormbird, a highly maneuverable flying machine with a wide array of shock-based air-to-ground attacks. That's the real deal. Um, so the body has no weaknesses, of course. Its strength is shock. Uh, it has a blaze canister located right on the back of it. Okay, so if you, yeah, obviously we hit the blaze canister fire, it could explode. Engines. Destroy this component. Oh! Disables the dive melee attacks if you d disable the uh, the engines on it, on the wings. Has a freeze canister. That looks really hard to hit. But yeah, if you can hit that, uh, you can trigger it to freeze. It's actually weak to freeze. Hmm. And the lightning gun. What do you mean, Michael? What server? Hey, that's what you do in The Witcher, man. Yeah, right, dude. All right, where the hell is the, the hunter here? Isn't this the hunting ground? Oh, there he is. No, it's not on easy mode. It's, just, it's the same thing. I just had to lower the zombie pop so it would work. By the sun. Are you Nora? I've never seen one at a hunting grounds before or at the hunter's lodge. How interesting. What do you do here? This is a place to test yourself against a herd of machines in the stamina trials. Think you can handle it? I know I can. Excellent. I like your spirit. You're awfully friendly. Well, you know, it gets lonely in the wilds after a few weeks. Yeah, that was an accident, Terrible Michael. Lonely, in fact. Um, I How forgot to turn it off, and I, I'm not doing oh, another world wipe to turn it count. off. Barely ever opens his mouth, and when he does, nothing interesting comes out. Yeah, I accidentally uh, didn't check it off, and uh, I fired up the server, and then, uh, like I said, the only way you could change settings is by world wipes, and uh, we would have to wipe the whole world just to change one setting, and it wasn't that big of a deal. Jesus. Um, so th he said stamina trials. Take a trial, and I'll explain how it works. <sighs> Pace trial. What is this? The remains of watchers rest on three rises. Loot all of them before time runs out, and you pass. It sounds simple, but watch out for all the other machines down there. In this trial... You must tie down a trampler and shoot off the component under its belly. Now's your chance to show you can snare Glinthawks. Lure them close to you, then tie them down in time to pass this test. Okay, all of those sound com complicated. I'm not going to mess with those right now. The trials are ready when you are. I don't want to waste a bunch of resources because we got we still got to go out and do a bunch of looting. All right, so I need to find a Strider site. Like, right now. Oh, we got another corrupted zone here. Van Dam with the sub. Thank you so much. <laughs> Michael said it's easy mode now. Now Michael's actually going to loot the whole entire city. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to travel back here and get these quests. That that That's what I wanted to do. Yep. I remember. 
a bunch of side quests here. Muffin, you beat this game? How did you enjoy it? Sarah, what's going on? How are you doing tonight? All right, let me get these side quests. You there, can you help me? You with the second sight, I need your help. You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King. So when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape, and listen. Hey James, I appreciate all you I for popping by. Anthony, back. what is going on, man? Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. He says that now until he stabs the guy with the sword. Let me actually, uh... Got a bunch of those treasure boxes I want to open. So I got to get up there somehow. That must be the spire. It's huge. It's probably not as complicated as I'm making it seem. Holy crap, that was some good stuff right there. You seen that? Okay, it wasn't that good. These are dark days. Machines have gone feral all across the land. Watch out for the Osiron merger. There we go. Able-bodied adventurers. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant to... A well-molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuk are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. 
<laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. Hey, you're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. Sounds pretty interesting. Um, what can you tell me about the Banuk? Max, the what's going on from Germany? Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people really, are Michael? harder than the winter frost. Try the one on Steam, dude. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you said I like his eyepiece. To do your exploring. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, uh, Nora, girl, <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities, risky opportunities. Laser, Why thank you so much, man. Stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me. All right, I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor. You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the Savage East. Uh, um, the East. That's what they call it, the Savage you East? walk among machines without fear in this camp. Well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. So he wants me to go investigate Can I interest you? the Banuk land. You need to win three half-sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. You mean these? Very well then. Congratulations and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure Oh, this is the Hunter's Lodge, guys. Legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk? Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs. Play Present data points. To the sun hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. Well, Max, I'm I glad to have you work. here for the first time, man. What do you mean? You'll see. The sun, King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right, you're new here. Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Osaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. What edict? King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. 
but I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a hunter's lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. What? From all 15 trials? So what do you get? The lodge, you get some lodge weapons. Uh, are the lodges, per are the lodge weapons purples? I would hope they're pur purples, because that's a lot of work. To get all freaking 15 blazing suns. Oh, those are the ultimate weapons of the game? Seriously? Oh, okay, then that's definitely worth it. Lenora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close. Like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Oh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander. Then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices. Not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, Lux, thank you, you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. If I could help, what must be done? The first pilgrim is an Asaram who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glindhawk's perch there, drawn to the spire's shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. I'll that sounds like a I lot of work, actually. That's a, that's a lot of machines. To memories is to honor us all. At least that sounds like a lot of machines, you know what I mean? It probably really isn't. Good night, bud. Love you. Huh? Watch something. Oh, okay. So let's go see if we can find a sponsor really quick in the Hunter's Lodge. Now I'm kind of curious. Now I'm kind of uh, intrigued about these Hunter Lodge quests. If you guys are saying those weapons are really good. Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the savage lands. The sacred land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, 
do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing, right now. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. This dude is a savage. Then get out of my sight. You're a Talana? Bessie said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay, I've dealt with worse. Hmm. I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Cuts through trees, rocks, people. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far, it's been all talk. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to assist the Sunhawk, then no one can deny you brought it down. Okay. Assis, what's his story? He's the Sunhawk of the lodge. The highest ranking asshole. Sorry, member. He's taken down ravagers, stalkers, behemoths. So? I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two stormbirds. But he's a hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Whichever hawk defeats the greatest machine first becomes a sun hawk. Damn. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me? I'll consider it. Just to make Assis boil. Three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. I, what the hell is a ravager? <clears throat> Yo, I don't even know what a ravager is. I know what the stalkers are. We'll take the sawtooths down. No pretty easily. The, the, the stalker isn't too bad. Now that we have higher level weapon, I don't even know what the hell a Ravager is. Alright, let's go find... Alright, so that's a pretty, pretty advanced quest. Okay, let's go investigate this crime scene while we're here. live on top of scrap of the old ones they do somewhere up north you saw the thief make a run for it my back was to the wall you see wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window he ran past me dressed in gray clutching a sword that's all I saw by the Sun my heart nearly seized up The thief broke the lattice on the way out. And some blood. 
Looks like they cut themselves, drops of blood bleeding away. More blood. I'm still on the trail. Still more blood. The thief got cut. The trail ends here. But someone must have seen the thief. I had an egg for breakfast, and it's not sitting well with me. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. The river is the greatest of all cities, and within it the greatest of all people. Went to the market, slipped on some fruit, and children left. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. Yeah, I can agree with that. <laughs> no sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. We he might have just wrapped it and threw it in the water, lady. Come back for it later. I'm playing on um, the hard mode. I think I'm not playing on the hardest, but we're definitely playing on hard. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for a shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. <laughs> Eric, I love you too, man. Okay. What's going on? I guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. Some Maseron girl applied to the city guard the other day. I just seen a Stormbird. That thing is ridiculous. Fred wants to watch you play PZ. Hell yeah, Eric. I didn't chicken out. I just wasn't going to waste resources fighting it right now when I got other things to invest my, my, my resources into. Like my hunter qu lodge quest, you know? Y'all got me out here under level trying to fight. Under leveled, under gear, trying to fight end game monsters. Oh. 
We're transforming into a Super Saiyan. Last night, you don't want to know what they were doing. Okay, we got more quests down here too. My family might still be alive, and you're going to stand here and do nothing? Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. What kind of machines? Where did they come from? A Ravager. By the sun, how it cut down those guards, and a pack of Watchers came with it. The Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect freeholds beyond the valley, but... Father never saw this coming. Tell me more about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils. So here's a estate. ravager. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. But what about the people there? Of course. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister, plus a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survived. I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will. Oh, thank you. Oh, please, be careful. Those machines are deadly. So we can kind of, we might be able to use those quests. That quest in um, combination with the other one we got to do too for the Hunter's Lodge. Because uh, I said that there was a rav um, possible Ravager. And I know I got to hunt one of those for the Hunter's Lodge. We're up to 92 likes on the stream, guys. Thank you so much. Fair prices. Fairest prices for machine parts under the Mesa. No tithes to the Sun Court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner? If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no market for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. A long leg? So which... Uh... No market for a snap maw lens is good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. One of them big ass things? The sun faked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait. You drove her off. Snap my lens. What do you say? I drove her off. <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress. Long leg lens. Hunters, scroungers, bring us your metal. Check out these wares. Scroungers? Like Aren't Come long legs... Course. Are those the things that we gotta climb? Oh, that's a tall neck. Okay, so it's different. <laughs> I, I thought when they said long leg, I was thinking of this. I'm like, what? How the hell do I fight that thing? All right, so let me see here. We got a bunch of quests. Um, I don't complain about your count. Oh, I actually have a so I have a lens on me already. I wouldn't have to check it twice. Don't pass up these. I have a long leg lens to sell. Huntress, you haven't just brought me metal. You've brought me joy. If I could pay you twice over. 
Start buying solid parts instead of baubles, and you could afford to. Don't think beyond your purse, man. Oh, it's that's like the chicken ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a heart to feel. What about a belly to feed, huh? You've got a surplus you can dig into. Chased by a long leg as a child. What? They just keep going. Were you chased by a long leg as a child? Yeah, 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 the long legs are the, the uh, these guys. Um, this, yeah, yeah, okay. No. All right, let me see here. So we got the water mill over here, stalker trophy over there. This is the family estate, which is an uh, which I should be able to get a um, ravager trophy there. Maybe, I don't. I don't know if uh, if that's how it works, but we'll, we'll check it. So let's hit, hit this first, then we'll head over to the uh, family estate. Hopefully, this works out. So here I'm supposed to be meeting with somebody who, um... That lady's trying to show that, like, it's like a Robin Hood, that hood act, this, the, the sword, the sword getting stolen, so, uh... I'll be the judge of that. I might need that. Gather some loot here so we can craft and heal. Yo, Caspi, that heal pouch upgrade was nice, dude. Good. I can use this. Gotta remember to keep my eyes open for the fatty, fatty meats. Right there. Probably only needed to do a double there. Fresh as it comes. I like this area of the map though. It's very um like jungly, you know what I mean? It's a different vibe than anywhere else. I'm gonna oh I'm gonna fight a stormbird eventually, yeah. I'm not Fight a storm bird. That thing was huge, by the way, just so you guys know. Does this kind of look sketch? I don't know. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat or bandage their wounds. 
They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. Where is the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner Nassan disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there, but be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. Shadow Karja. Okay, so I believe up here, the family estate, this is where I should be able to get a stalker. Or the, the Ravage, what is it, the Ravager? Yeah, all three machines should be right here. I should be able to do it in this, this span of distance. Thunder three times, dude. That's no joke, man. And one of these. It's a really, really nice area. Legend 1 donated $150. Merry Christmas my friend, smiley face. I rarely get to catch you live, but your recorded streams help- Help me get through my tough days at work, and when my depression kicks in, it's hardest, especially in the holidays. I appreciate you and what you do is truly has an impact. X, dude, that is way too much, man. Holy crap. Seriously, X, thank you so much for that, man. And- I know I haven't seen you here in a little bit, and um, I hope all is well, especially around the, the holidays. I know it could be tough for a lot of people, and uh, the fact that I can bring you any comfort really means a lot to me, dude. But man, thank you so much. That is extremely generous of you, dude. Extremely generous. And Merry Christmas, man. Guys, hearts in the chat for X, dude. That That's extremely generous of you, man. Holy crap, dude. Shady. This must be Ronamon's family estate. Okay, there's a Ravager, dude. Hey, man. Axe. Thank you so much. Seriously, thank you. Damn, I wanted to hit that watcher. Good shot, dude.
can't see. Yeah, that canister below looked pretty easy to hit on this one, actually. Let me check out the Ravager. Ravager. So, yeah, they kind of are like the, um, the Sawtooths. Their bodies are weak to fire. They got a freeze canister underneath them that's weak to tear and freeze. Uh, they got a power cell on their back. Uh, if I hit with a shock arrow, that will, uh... Do some really, really big damage, and then they got their thing. So I'm actually gonna aim. Oh, I would have to get my war bow out. Let me see here. Inventory. Hmm. See if I can. Yeah. Oh wow, that's wicked easy to hit. And then, and then I missed. They don't ever say it's wicked easy to hit. What the hell was that? They hit one. Dude hits so hard. Yo, I'd like to get that freaking canister underneath it. This thing is no joke. enough to explode it though.
machines attack without warning. Okay, so I got the Ravager trophy. Oh shit! I sh the Ravager cannon. Damn, we should have grabbed that, dude. They're scanning for me. I heard a person. Are these Ravager cannons like really good or something? The only problem is they're, they're really, really heavy. You can't really travel with them all that well. Yeah, I definitely need to use more coils on my weapons. I actually need to upgrade my weapons that I have now, but I haven't been able to get myself any... any decent coils, I don't think. Let me see. So, for instance, my, well, my war bow really doesn't have any coils on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I got this shadow bow. This is, like, my main bow that I use, but, um... Oh, I did get the shadow sharp shot, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I wanted to get the, uh... Shadow war bow next. For instance, okay, so... I could throw some mods on this. Increase its damage a whole bunch, actually, and its handling. Let me out. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh, thank you. I didn't really believe anyone was coming for me. Oh, Axe, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I got to get good at chopping those cannons off. Because remember, we got that cannon from the um, this Thunderjaw, too. And I should have shot the cannon off, grabbed it, and then used it against it. That would have been, been super clutch. I got to keep that in mind. Tell me what happened when the machines attacked. There were screams. I came running. The Ravager ripped through the guards like dolls. My father pushed me into the larder. I heard him kill a watcher. Then, blasts from the Ravager's cannon. Silence. I tried opening the door, but he'd locked me in. He saved your life, and I'll never be able to thank him. Do you have any idea where the machines came from, or why they attacked so suddenly? We've been seeing more and more machines around here every year. That's why my father hired more guards. But they've never attacked like this before. I have no idea what caused it. Stay here. I'm gonna have a look around. I will. I need to take a moment with my father. Something in here drawing machines or something? A key. Wonder what it workshop key. Is this the workshop over here, maybe?
the workshop. Oh, what is that? That device is sending out a signal. Could be what attracted the machines. Okay, that should cut the signal. But someone put this here to call on the machines and kill everyone on the estate. I found a lure. I think someone might have put it here deliberately to draw in the machines. Did your father have enemies? <sighs> Raineman, my brother. First there was gambling, then stealing, then extortion. He swore vengeance when my father kicked him out. It was Ranamon who begged me to come. He needed the machines cleared out to claim the property. We can't let him. That murderous snake. Can't let me do what, sister? Claim my inheritance? We shared a crash, murderer. Have you no honor? Oh, I guess not. But I will have this estate. When you meet father in the next life, tell him I'm enjoying his money. As for you, this little device will summon more machines. A lot easier than killing you myself. Okay, now we're sneaking. Want to test out these, uh... Ravager gun. Wow. Seriously? <laughs> nice, dude. I just got a tear coil, actually. I'm glad there are good people like you in the world. It helps to make up for scum like my brother. My father was always generous in his gratitude. A family tradition I would like to continue. Take this. I hope it will help you in your travels. Alright, let me see. I got a bunch of boxes. Alright, so now we gotta come over here. And get a stalker trophy. Now, yo, the stalkers are actually kind of... A pain in the butt. But, I fought one when I was pretty low-leveled. Oh yeah, check my clothes. I forgot, yeah, we can add upgrades into our clothes stuff too. Um... So I got a... Oh wow, yeah, we got a bunch of resist. Uh, that's plus 13% stealth. Yo, that's actually really good. Let me get that in. And then my shadow sling here. We can add freeze to it. 
Wow, I could add a lot of freeze to it. Things gonna be freezing like nobody's business. It's the ultimate freeze weapon right there. Joe, what is going on, man? Yeah, I'm wearing the medium. Um, I, I should be wearing. Yeah, the Nora Silent Hunter medium. I should probably look to get a better one, right? Yeah, so our our weapon over here, that's like the ultimate freeze weapon now. Stacking, uh, handling on the sniper bow, handling increases the fire rate and the speed in which you draw the bow back drastically. Oh, yo, because that is the downside to that sniper bow. It, it draws wicked, wicked slow. Raphael, thank you so much for the sub, man. Hold on one sec, guys. My dog is waking out. My bad. The Warbow Freeze is amazing. Yeah, that's the one I was using um, that I've been using is the Warbow Freeze. Um, but it seems like the when you use the Freeze in this sling, that it freezes them faster. Like, for instance, if I shoot the Warbow, it'll take like seven arrows in order to get them fully frozen. Where I feel like the sling freezes them a little quicker than that. But I don't know. We're going to have to... We'll have to see. I could probably test one out here. I could probably get myself a uh, Strider, too, when we're done with this Stalker. Only use Warbo for freeze. So do, the, is the sling not used very often, then? That was the one weapon I was having a hard time trying to figure when I would use it, because it seems like you can get the functions of the sling from everything else. Let me grab one of these striders really quick. Just a little adjustment. Uh, the sling freeze is more efficient. Warbo has a higher freeze stat plus mods. I checked it yesterday, bud. I told you it's not loose. Huh? Come here. Nothing, bud. And even if it was, I would just get it fixed. It's not a big deal. Vito! Let's go out of what the sub. It's funny, my son's name is Vito. Damn it, Axe. I gotta check that out, man. The stalker's around. I see it's mines here. Yo, these things are hard to hunt. Alright, here we go. I 
can get out of this. Gio, what the sub? Thank you so much, man. So can I not see an invisible stalker with the uh with my focus either? Where are you? Guys, I'm over here smashing the salt and vinnies. Okay, so they're weak to shock. So I wonder if I stack some shock arrows and put them right into the side where that stealth um, generator is. Oh, there's more than one. I just got shot by the other one. God damn it. I see the other one, he's over there. It's... Shit, there's three of them. Let me get the hell out of here. I I expected to fight one and I ended up having to fight three. <laughs> okay, so I didn't notice I actually needed more than one Ravager. I needed three. So we're gonna head over here and try to get the sawtooths. The ancient armor, Raphael. How, how do you guys, how, guys? How do I get the ancient armor? Is that that cool ass armor I seen underground there? 
the Iron Man suit that I wanted to get. How do I get that? That shit looked awesome. I gotta collect. I need to be somewhere else. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 the power cells. I remember now. Yep, I remember the power cells. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna hit. Yeah, we'll go head to this sawtooth area over here. Tread, what is up, man? Bro, I, why are you not sticking to the road? Oh, it's a lot of scrappers. Brandon, with the sub, thank you so much. Oh man, it's a battle right there. That shit just gave up on whatever the road was. I might not use the power armor, but I want to get it because that shit looked cool as hell. So are the are the the power cells are they tied to the actual story of the game or is it like side content? It's cool but difficult to get. I wonder how many people play this game and beat it without even getting that armor. It's all side content. I mean, I want to get it just because it looks cool. <laughs> like, like, that's it for me. Okay, we're almost in a sawtooth location. But sawtooths aren't, aren't a big deal for us, and that is though. I guess I can't blame you for that. Oh, I'm in the danger zone. I'm in the danger zone. I hear a sawtooth right there.
One more I gotta get. Never thought I'd see the day, guys, where I, I, I fought two Sawtooths at once. I don't think there's any more in this area. Yeah. <laughs> Axe, they really did feel like Endgame, dude. They were so hard, man. You guys remember that first sight fight I had with the freaking Sawtooths? That shit was insanity. So there might be one more over here. I don't know. I didn't check the whole area. Yeah, I don't think there's any more. I would have, I would have seen one. I would have seen it for sure, or heard it walking around. There's a lot of water here. Yeah, there's gonna be no more here. I have to start peeling the armor off. So. These terror blast arrows are these what will these will take armor off of the ma the machines, right? Or is it these ones, the harvest arrows? It's the terror blast that peels the actual armor pieces off and okay. Let me practice on one of these. Oh, it does it. oh wow, yeah, it just peels off all the freaking armor. It literally just peels all the armor off. And it's delayed, so I can like shoot it, set it up, and then already have my other arrow and bow out. Um that that's really cool. Okay, so there was more. More Ravagers up there, Ravagers up there. Wow, I got a grazer heart. Nice. Yeah, I never really used these terror blast arrows. I never thought I, I used, but I was only shooting them one at a time. But now I just realized if you stack them, they uh, they mega peel off the, the armor. So I'm gonna mark this other sawtooth site. Where the hell was that?
Yeah, I have the Frozen Wild DLC and everything. Yeah, we're going to be playing that. When should I do the Frozen Wild DLC? Should I do it after the main game or does it not matter? Sawtooth, right? Yeah. Well, oh, those are wrong arrow, wrong arrows. There's three fucking sawtooths. I must be closing in on the signal. You, know, you definitely like I could kill them, but man, do they still do mega damage? My focus is receiving another signal. Man, do they do a lot of damage. That's that increased difficulty for you right there. I can override sawtooths. I forgot about that. I don't think I peeled it completely with these terror blast arrows. Something nearby is sending that signal.
So genius. Okay, three sawtooth are easier to take down when you um, override one of them. <laughs> so we should be good on our sawtooth. Uh, and now we just gotta get one more Ravager. Let me get this uh, tall neck while I'm down here. Oh, I think I got a sawtooth art too. I'm gonna jump on it from right there. Red Eye Watcher? What the hell is that? A Red Eye Watcher? So Red Eye Watchers, they use swarm tactics, overwhelming in numbers. Also keep a focused laser blast. So what's the difference between these ones? They look pretty much the same to me. Climb up. Up here it is. Chicken dudes are pretty easy to kill. I remember the first time I fought those things, they were so scary. I think I can leap onto the tall neck from here. Climb up to its head. Ladies, braver than I am. I, my ass would not make it up there.
All right, so we need one more Ravager. All the Ravagers are up north. So I'm going to travel up toward the Hunter's Lodge here. Oh, we actually got a Vantage here that I'm going to hit, too. Oh, no, this one's actually closer. We'll hit this. Yeah, we'll hit here, and then uh, we'll head up north to check out these Ravagers. So my plan for this Ravager that I want to practice is I want to shoot the gun off and then kill it with the gun. Imagine if this game was um, in VR, that would be insane. One terror arrow to the gun. So we're going to be looting up healing items on our way up there. It's so crazy how drastically the environments change from place to place. They got a really good ecosystem in this game. like. Um, you know, you get a ton of different feels from different areas. It's not like the whole map feels the same. Literally everywhere feels different. You'll do. So do you guys think that the second one is going to be better than the first one? I haven't seen anything on the second one yet. Uh, I'm waiting uh, till after we beat this before I check out that trailer and shit. Oh, useful. But it seems like a lot of you guys love this game. Do you guys think the second one's going to be better? Sequels generally don't hold up to the second games. It's just... I don't know why. Way better. I wonder if there's going to be more machines. Up, I fucked up. Shit, there's fucking. Are, is there, are those two Ravagers? Damn, that's not good, guys. Two of them? This 
safe. For a few minutes, anyway. There's stealth zone anywhere I can engage from. I'm going to get the weapons. Okay. They're heading back. There they are. That's the only way to do it, guys. It's the, that's just using strategy right there. That is just strategy. I'll figure out a Stormbird strategy. Ricky, what's up, dude? I'll figure out a Stormbird strategy. It's too easy. So we got all of those done. Roaches, what is up, man? Guys, if you have not already, hey, smash that like button if you guys are enjoying this. Yeah, I don't use a trip caster enough. I, I don't use, like, half the weapons enough, I feel. I feel there's so many weapons that I, I don't use properly or at all. 
You know what I mean? So let me see. Really quick. So those are the two main quests there. Um, so I'm going to turn this quest in here. Then we can check out the uh, shrines there. We can clear those out. Those should be pretty easy now that we're... I'm doing pretty good, Roaches, dude. I'm doing pretty good, man. So, yeah, we'll turn that in. We'll clear out these two... Uh, oh, well, three shrines, actually. we got to clear out three shrines. And then we'll do a main mission. Um... Probably the one to look for Olin. But hey, guys, give me a couple moments. I got to go take care of something real quick. IRL. Um, so you guys can sit here and talk amongst yourself. Sorry, guys. All right, I'll be back. If anybody asks, I will be right back.
All right, guys. At least it wasn't puke this time, right? All right. I am back. Sorry about that. All right, let's go. So we're going to turn in this hunter quest. And, uh... Like I said, we're going to go clear those two shrines, those three shrines out. And then we'll go ahead and we'll push and do the, uh, one of the main missions. Take a look at these wares. Wonder if this will get us some respect with the, uh, the Hunter's Lodge. That dude was a pretty big asshole to us. Dies in the Nora territories. <laughs> you missed me. Um, I appreciate you guys waiting. It's the hardest part about live streaming compared to like making videos is I could be recording a video and stop at any moment, go take care of the real life stuff, come back, continue recording a video, and it's like it never happened because. I put the video out and nobody even notices, you know what I mean? But when you're live streaming and, you know, your kids puke in the floor, you need to go help with groceries, you gotta, do, you know, there's, there's, you just gotta stop, you know what I mean? There's, there's no way to work around it. I thought I told you. I'm here to present trophies to the Sunhawk of the Lodge. Three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker for good measure. I suppose Talana helped you with this. I brought these down myself. Will you accept them? Fine, yes. I accept them. But tell Talana she should stop playing with Sludge if she wants to get Red Maw. Yeah, I'll kill Red Maw myself. What is Red Maw? What the fuck is that? Was that always there? <laughs> I swear that w that was not there the whole time, guys. I literally just turned around and then I just seen a machine. <laughs> when I gave him my trophies, Assis said you should be spending more time finding Red Maw than helping me. That bunghead isn't wrong. But there isn't time to find Red Maw right now. You're gonna help with something else. Oh? And what might that be? Meet me outside. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm just that I just wasn't paying attention that much, guys. You wanna help? Here's someone who needs it. Go ahead, El Sadi. I live in Lone Light, northeast of here. I barely escaped because Glint Hawks attack anyone who ventures out. We have so few shards. Will you help? We have nowhere else to turn. Sometimes members receive an honorarium for the hunt. Assis should have accepted this one, but he refused. The price was too low. How generous. In the past, I would have gone with Takas to handle this. And what say you and I take it on? I'll meet you at Lone Light. <laughs> what about Red Maw? Are you in or not? All right. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. All right, Ricky, I, I got you, dude. So I got to meet her where? To lo at Lone Light. Okay, so that's an area I really have. Oh, we kind of been up there. We got a campsite over here. Hmm. So on my way up, I'm gonna I'm just gonna knock out these shrines really quick. There's one legit right here. We'll knock out the shrines, head up to Lone Light. Wonderful. 
her. Always stay bright. Always stay alert. This must be the Shrine of Chaos that the man told me about. He at me. <laughs> you won't get in there. That dried up old prune in a robe sees to that. I can be persuasive. But what does an Osram want with a Karja shrine anyway? It reminds me of someone. Gone two years now. But what does a girl like you know of loss? Try me. I had a lover. Worked on monuments to their bastard king. Then he gave them a show in their sun ring for good measure. The car gave up. me back his broken bones, but what use are they? They won't build again. They won't make me smile. And seeing a statue of the Mad Sun King will? I, I need to see his work again. The marks his hands carved. The set of the metals they hammered. That's the soul of him. But that shriveled up old priest won't let me near it. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so that's the, the priest right there. He doesn't seem that shriveled up to me. Turn away, child. Oh, he's pretty shriveled. The abiding Jahaman wishes to be alone in his retreat. If you want to be alone, go someplace else. Others want to pray here. Defile it, you mean? Yet another debasement of what was once pure. Truly, our tribe has lost the light. Our king is false, our temple is corrupt, and our soldiers weak. The sun This guy sounds like a traitor to me. For shame. Does he not know what the Brotherhood of Steel would do to his face? So the Karja have become impure? What does that even mean? Is Meridian not meant for those who built it, who made it great? It was pure before outlander squatters took it over. You mean Meridian was pure when the outsiders were in cages or dying in your arena? The sun is pure, child. It is not our place to question its divine will. Only to act upon it. I thought Avad taking the throne was the son's will. The boy dishonored his father. Dishonored us all. To kill a son king. What shadow, what twilight time he brought upon us. And how many more would the mad son king have killed if Avad hadn't stopped him? The son called for blood. There was no choice but to obey. This you dude is insane. The corrupt, but aren't you one of its priests? They call themselves sun priests, but they have no authority. Youths and sycophants all. Yet those who gave their whole lives to the sun's service are shamed and ignored. So that's what this is. A tantrum? A cry for attention? You know nothing of our rights, and yet you dare to insult me. Why do you think your army is weak? Because you're not at war with everyone? A Karja throne relying on forged dirt mercenaries? Preposterous! The so-called liberation was nothing but a purge. Our most blessed warriors, chased out of the city, exiled to Sunfall and the Forbidden West. Our tribe is torn. The ones who walked in light now go by shadow. And yet everyone but you seems happy they're gone. I'm done arguing with you. Stay or go, but I won't allow you to keep others away. I am here by the will of the sun. You don't believe in the throne, the priesthood, the army, or the city, so I guess you have no authority here. Uh, I have the authority of the sun! Then call it for help. No one else will listen. There'll be a reckoning. You'll back away from it. Got him. One thing I'll say about fancy cards or robes. They'll be spotting idiots from a long way off. 
Carjo may like this heat, but I sure don't. Well, it broke the head off of him. Is he peeing on it? He gave them the best work he'd ever do. And look at it now. They defaced it because they hated what it stood for. They defaced a thing slaves like him lived and died for. Slaves they've already forgotten. Short-sighted bastards the lot. If they thought... That's so true. That's so true to think about that and like that. Um, a whole bunch of people were enslaved and their lives were literally... All their lives were building these shrines for these mad, you know, the mad king. And once the mad king fell, people went and just destroyed all of those slaves work. Like all of the stuff that, you know, their, their livelihood, you know, that they put into these shrines, uh, just destroyed, which is, it's crazy to think about, you know, Some set off this bridge. They jump after it. I thank you. For honoring my wish. I hope you can find peace. Uh, I wouldn't know what to do with it. Any more than the Karja do. Asleep. Swear it looks like he's peeing on that, doesn't he? Just like them. It's too damn soft. Alright, so that's one down. Um... We'll go to this one next. This area is so high off the ground like the crazy thing is is I'm playing this game right and there's so much content and story and stuff, and I'm not even doing like the main game. I'm just like, I'm just doing side content. It's pretty good side content, on honestly. Uh, nah, Wayne. Not not usually. If you buy a pre-built PC, um, generally they come spec. Now the only people that really have to worry about overheating are people who don't clean their computer regularly. Um, you always want to take a little can of air maybe once a month and just blow out your um your fans. Uh, just to keep the dust from building up But unless you're like overclocking or you're doing like you got some uh, components that just don't match up with each other um, That's generally when you'll run into uh, overheating issues, but no, I never personally run into them Yeah, we're gonna we're, once we do these these missions here, we're gonna do some main story content Oh, I missed my turn. Yeah, PCs build up dust really, really bad. What is that? Oh, those are just Striders. I can actually probably grab one of those. Oh, those are not... Are those Striders? Why do these look different? Almost there now. Oh shit, this is a different mount, guys.
just gonna cut by your paws. Must be the sun's time, where the beneath wants to paint his mind. Um, Wayne, sometimes it's not your fans, dude. Uh, the fans only heat your, cool your PC so much. The main component in your PC that overheats is your CPU. Um, and the CPU generally has a heat sink attached to it. So you want to make sure that you take that off and make sure that you put some new thermal paste on there, especially if you haven't put thermal paste on your PC ever. Um, take it off. Take a nice cloth. Wipe that thermal paste clean. The What's ever on there, the residue. Apply a new layer of thermal paste. Um, put your heat sink back on. If that doesn't keep your PC cool, Think about just getting a better heat sink for your CPU. But yeah, the, um, I would start with some thermal paste, man. Just look it up real quick on YouTube. They'll show you exactly how to do it because you want to make sure you don't put too much paste or too little. Uh, you put too much paste and it actually does the exact opposite of cooling your PC. Sounds like there's a lot of freaking those Thunderbird things. What, what are those birds weak to? I forgot. I think they're weak to... Uh, is it fire? I'm pretty sure it's fire. Glint Hawks. Yeah, they're weak to fire. Okay, so that shrine is done, I believe. Oh, no, there's a person here I gotta talk to.
You are a better hunter than I. I'll paint the mark while the spirits of the Glinthawks linger. There'll be more where they came from. Yes, there will always be more machines. Their spirits find new bodies, but we only last as long as memory. That's why I must leave this story. A monument to our vanished shamans, to the wisdom the Karja bled from us. The machine oil in the paint will preserve it. Preserve their memory against all that was cut away. You have my thanks, Hunter. Pretty nice painting. Okay, so the last area we gotta go is right down there. I wish there was like a zip line, that'd be sick. Is there a zip line? Because that'd be sick. I don't think so. Nope. Going down the old fashioned way. Uh, rope caster, second most used. Oh, there's a metal flower up there. How do I get on the other side? Uh, well, I'll get it later. I'll get it later. So I only have a couple more minutes to play this before we gotta swap games. What I'll do is I'll probably do a lot of the collectible stuff on Steam or, or on Twitch or something like one of these days. We're just messing around. Okay, we're mad close. To buy stuff in Meridian. This is where the Otaru wanted to say her goodbyes. Oh, I gotta kill Snap Maws. Now these guys... I've only killed one, and that shit was really, really tough. Almost at 200 likes on the stream, guys. Thank you so much for that. Okay, let me see. So, let me study these snap balls real quick. So, their body is weak to fire. The, the body's strong. Okay, so the blaze canister is weak to fire, which is under armor. I can I can probably uh, expose that pretty easily. And then the the so we're gonna hit them with some tear. Oh no! I can see the blaze canisters are uh, readily available. Look at that. Nice. That was just one canister, too. Nope. 
I missed the other canister. Nice, yo. Those dudes really aren't that hard either. Gonna need this. That <laughs> two hundred likes, guys. Thank you so much. There we go. That that wasn't that bad. When we fled from our cages during the liberation, I tore through this clearing, thinking my friend was behind me. I kept running, but here she remains. Thank you for making it safe for me to return. I don't want to rush you, but it won't stay safe for long. I understand. I've done this before in waking dreams. In the pool, I'll find the bracelet of seeds she dropped when she fell. The seeds will be split, escaped, grown wild. She's passing from my memory into the jungles. I'll tell her it was I who died here and became a stranger in our own land, and she who still lives in every time of planting, of rains, harvests, and... Oh. What is it? There. Her bracelet. And... I thought she was behind me. But there's only my reflection. Do you need to be alone? For the first time, I am. Okay, so we got that done. Now... See, where are my main missions at? I want to do at least one. I want to work on one main mission before we end today. So we can meet, uh, yeah, we'll meet him up here. This guy's sister was killed. Um, he was one of the guys we met back at the Proving. Oh, we're going to be playing some Fallout, Ricky, after this. Hey, nothing we can ride. I believe those are, uh, Ravagers. Yep. Though the desert is mega dangerous. Yeah, we'll be playing Fallout after this, guys. Who the hell are these guys? Cultist priest? Are they baddies? Handy. Nuka World? No, nah, not yet. We're gonna be working more with the um with the factions so I can pick who I wanna actually work with in the end. Douglas, dude, with the super chat, man, thank you so much. MRD Gaming, what is going on? How are you doing tonight, man? Okay, so I could ride one of them. Uh, the Atrama uh, uh, Automatron? I don't know what that is. Oh shit, there's one of them shell walkers. Oh shit, my man is in the, over here fighting his. Why, dude?
Okay, it was it was freeze. Yep, that, that's what I thought. That should that should freeze him. Why did I didn't break it? Never mind. I'm glad that's over with. Thanks for the help. Chandler with the sub, dude, and Joey, uh, Jade, JD Ray, thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it, guys. Have a word. Hey, come on, what are you waiting for? Dude, relax, man. What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not going to risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. And maybe she thought that... Uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad, we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Erend. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry, too. Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so no. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight, at least. Don't get used to it. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No. But it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us. And Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. They've been licking their wounds for two years, but... They finally found a way to get back at her. So, were the shadow cards of the people that attacked the proving? All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. No, everybody said the Iron Man suit is like the end game. Why come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cleft. there. Hey, right, this is it. Where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. Ma'am. I need to find the bastards that did this. Those bloodstains are not the kind that would pull around a corpse. Arrows scattered there. These look like drag marks. 
It must be Shadow Karja armor. A Shadow Karja spear. Strange. Not a scratch on it. It's perfectly sharp. Never seen action. Is this a trap? They look like smears. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line. As if blood dripped off the edge of something. Like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. My man's face. <laughs> Good for an old remedy. Gathering healing on the way there. Definitely, yeah, definitely, uh, cart tracks. Stocking up. It's like I fill up my meds and then I blow through them so quick. Why they wanted Ursa dead? Why fake an ambush? There's more to this, and we're gonna figure it out. It's a purple. Got a vessel there. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? It's calling in machines. Get ready.
Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. Hey, that was a pretty good ambush there. Freaking two Ravagers and a bunch of human enemies. rocks. They're shattered. These look like vanguard weapons. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. A lot of people died here. A massacre. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. There's no blood on them. Versus men didn't fight back. <laughs> there, by the tripod. A used power cell. So what is some special weapons or something that they use to ambush these people? It seemed like they had something mounted here. What are those leather straps? Armor straps, cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. This is Ursus Helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch in me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut. As if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... She got a booger in her nose. 
then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Damn. You know what I haven't been doing? Skilling up. All right, let me see here. Uh, I don't really use the melee all that much. I don't. Oh shit, look at that. Do I have the heavy spear attack? Yeah, what if there's some people that are just nasty at melee in this game? All right, no, enough messing around. All right, let me see. So I wanted to get the scrapper perk. That, that's a good skill right there, too. Ammo Crafter. Heavy attacks are OP. Should probably practice my melee a little bit more. I barely ever use that shit. Like, barely ever use it. I use the stealth takedown, but... I've never played Dark Souls, and I'm probably terrible at it, man. <laughs> okay, so Olin's mission is actually right over here. We'll end the night with that. How about that, guys? We'll end the night with that. Okay, so that is not the way. I wish there was a freaking zip line up here somewhere. That'd be sick. I know, Shirley, we are getting close to 27,000 subscribers. Way faster than I ever thought. Jump. She didn't drink her Red Bull today. That's high. It's fine, I can fast travel right here. It's actually closer. End it with a Stormbird. I don't even know where Stormbird is, dude. We got Corruption and these peeps. To me!
the shot. Oh! There was three shell walk watchers over there. I can't spare the weight. David G with the membership. Thank you so much and welcome to the family. Keep that for later. Followed on Twitch. I appreciate that. Okay, I don't know if there's gonna be more of them shadow dudes in here, so let's just be careful. Can't carry more. things back to life their power serves us machine demons from beneath the ground it's a nightmare nightmares yes the worst dreams of our enemies come true yes rise will destroy us all they will only destroy our enemies and bring us back the lands that were ah! 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 stop working search the area we may have intruders forgive this intrusion Aloy you left me no choice <laughs> who is this an interested party now, the focuses are disabled, but I don't know for how long. The rest is up to you. The fuck? Who is this? Corruptors are pretty annoying to fight. Might be able to drop logs on that. Thank you. 
sun's coming up. Nora girl lives. Kill her! No! You had your chance. I have to get my trip caster out.
See that dude? I promise. I'll tell you everything. I know you will. The killers who came for me at the Proving, who are they? The Eclipse. Some kind of holy warriors. A cult of the Shadow Karja. Shadow Karja? Except they're not like any Karja I've known. They don't pray to the sun. They worship some kind of devil. I'm not interested in their superstitions. Oh, it's not a superstition. Their devil is real. It has a name, a voice, the most terrible voice, and they do its bidding. You say this devil, the Eclipse Worship, has a name? Hades. That's what they call it. Hades. And you've heard it speak? Steal to my soul. I heard just once when it saw you. Such a voice. A cold. Awful jangle, it scrapes your bones, it hollows your guts. A metal sound, but like nothing dug from the earth or smelted in a forge. And what did it say? System threat detected. Just three words. But in the voice of a devil. It was probably like... What are these Eclipse cultists after, besides me? They never said. But given the Karja's civil war, they must want to overthrow Sun King of Odd and take Meridian back. What do I have to do with that? I don't know. When they attacked the Proving, a man came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. Healers. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Asuram called him, when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. <sighs> if only he'd died with his king. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive. How did the Eclipse recruit you? I know they took your family hostage, but why you? I was a scrounger, a rummager in dark places, good at what I do. I suppose they knew I would serve them well as a scout. I had taken a delve near Maker's End. When I surfaced, they were waiting. I laughed when I saw the priest. But then he showed me Helis's encouragement. I didn't laugh after that. They gave me a focus to watch my every move. I followed orders. You had access to Meridian. Why didn't they get to Avad through you? Too much dirt under my nails for an audience with the one true Sun King. But whatever Ursa or Eren told me, the Eclipse heard every word through my focus. That's why I couldn't warn you. If I tried, they would have killed my family. Why are the Eclipse digging up ancient machines? And how do they get them to work? I thought they wanted them for scrap, but they brought them back to life. Plugged some kind of device into the corpses so that Hades could whisper to them and call them from their grave. 
I've fought that kind of machine before. Are there others? Yes. The ones you fought today, they call corruptors. But there are others, much bigger, bristling with ancient weapons. Those they call Deathbringers. I've only seen them buried in the ground, but after today, anything is possible. Sounds to me like they're raising an army. If so, the world will fall. And I helped dig the pit. The Eclipse were sent to kill me because I look like another woman. Older, maybe twice my age, short hair. Who is she? I don't know. My focus found her image once, in the ruins at Maker's End. Maybe you can find her there. You found her image in the ruins? How? There was a door. Beside it, a kind of ancient device that contained the woman's image. My focus recorded the location. You do look like her. Is she your mother? I'm the one asking questions. I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. I won't beg for my life. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Please. Where would I find them? My focus recorded the location. There are always guards there. You look like you can handle yourself. It will take many good deeds to make up for the crimes you've committed. You're sparing me? After all I've done? Yes. Forge a new life, Olin. One of better make. Then the rest of my life will be lived in your dead. Go to the place where your family is being held and wait for me. We'll make their lives the first ones you save. I didn't earn this mercy, but I will die to make myself worthy of it. I will be waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, Olin's pretty dope, though. Like, I get why he did it. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody had my family hostage, um, I'd probably do whatever they were asking me to do too. I would, I would not be thinking or caring about what the hell I'm like the consequences of my decision. There would be um, pretty much no uh, rational thought in that in that process. Let me see. So we got, we got that done. Um, where the hell was that hunter's lodge? I got mods on my weapons right now. I just don't know if I have any better mods to replace the ones that I already have. I could check. I haven't checked in a little bit. Oh, I actually do have some pretty better, like, some of my better ones here. That's ninth. Yeah, this is, actually, this is pretty good here. Let's see if I can replace some of these greens. guys I got no health I got no health <laughs> I wasn't even ready well there it is all right let me study this thing one more time because I already forgot how to fight it The engines, blaze canister on the back side.
and lightning gun underneath it. Something off. Freeze canisters right there on his neck, aren't they? <laughs> See, fuck, as if, as if I didn't have enough problems already. He's got nothing to do with this damn bird. Whether I had NPCs or not, this that wouldn't change this fight. This thing is insane. There's that blaze canister. No way I'm hitting that thing with that with it in the air though. laser thing.
Ivy, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Wow. All right, Michael. Yeah, I'll fix them. I'll fix them as soon as I finish this, dude. Yeah, we just got a ton of coils for that. That was crazy. Oh, man. Two hundred and forty two likes on the stream, guys. I do appreciate that. So we'll end that here. Just need a better rope caster. I'm pretty sure what a better rope caster would have made that easier on me. That wasn't god awful. Right? I didn't do too bad. I didn't have like any health, so I was like playing it super super safe. I wanted to make sure I got rid of that long range lightning attack, because that was kind of what was trolling me the whole time. And it was like, once you get rid of that long-range lightning attack, the only attack he has is that dive. And, um... Yeah, it's pretty easy to get away from that dodge. Or the dive. Unless he had another attack and... Didn't it? I, wait, I think it might have had another attack and I might have blown it off. Oh, yeah, so he has... Yeah, just a lightning gun, really. And a dive attack. Yeah, it's not that bad. Once you once you get rid of that lightning thing, it's it's pretty they're pretty easy to fight. Oh, Bram did a ground keep him from moving. Yeah, well, my, I, did, I used mine to keep it in place so I could get to the back and blow up that blaze canister and try to do, like, massive amounts of damage to it. And uh, it kind of worked out, so. But, again, guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. Um, I really do appreciate it. Like I said, we're gonna, I'm going to drop the stream down. And uh, Lindsay with the super chat. Thank you so much. Love and watching people discover this game. GG with the Stormbird. I thought I did okay. I mean, I got wrecked the first time around. But we we uh we got it in there. But give me a couple of minutes, guys. I'm gonna drop this stream down. We're gonna be jumping right into some Fallout 4. Uh, do a little bit more work with the railroad. Um, I'm gonna get that Zomboid server update up to date for you guys to who are waiting for that. Said that, that there was a mod update. All right, guys. So, again, thank you so much. If you haven't already, smash that like button on your way out. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.